What is that? We're gonna crash into the moon. Are you? No, we're gonna catapult around it. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Yes. Yes, please. Check this out. This is cool. This is like some real life Apollo. St oh, no, we're not. We're gonna smash into the moon. We're screwed. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Kerbal Space Program and I'm super excited today because today we're finally gonna go and explore the moon. I had to spend a fair amount of time in between the last video and this one to actually get a lot of money uh, because you basically go from launch your ship into atmosphere and orbit Kerbin to go to the moon and all the other missions in between are these really boring like go test this part or like this here take a crew report in flight above 16,000 meters near a site and and they're good for like farming money and reputation and all that and and you can get some science points but uh really they don't let you get to the moon and to get to the moon you need to have a level two tracking station so you can set up the maneuvers properly a level two vehicle assembly building so you can actually support enough parts to build your vehicle and a level a level two mission control so really just a whole ton of stuff that uh, needed to be done now we're gonna go to the moon and i'm really really excited about it so we're gonna we're gonna build here the mark three and uh, i did unlock a few more parts, nothing terribly crazy, uh, but enough I think that we can make it to the moon. We're gonna definitely bring some science, some of these science labs, they usually do well. Uh, we're gonna do everything in pairs, I think, because that'll really, really work out well. So we'll go two goo containers, two science things, two thermometers, and two barometers, right? So perfect. Um, definitely gonna have to put these a little bit closer together, because I think in addition to the one chute on the top, we're going to have two uh, side mounted chutes as well, just to help make sure that this thing can slow down. If it comes in too quick, it's just going to smash. And that'll be a problem. So then we'll need to be able to decouple this because that'll be the return pod. Of course, we are going to need some batteries. Do we have batteries? I think we do. Yes, we've got some very terrible batteries. All right, so we're just going to litter this place with, with batteries and we'll put four like this. And these are 100 each, 100 charge each, and four like this. So we'll put a fuel tank on it there. We don't have any RCS yet, so we don't have any fine control. Um, but I think this will be enough to leave the moon just with that. And then we're going to put another decoupler there. Now we do need some landing gear, of course. Some micro struts for when we get down to the moon. All right, so now we just need to build a rocket. We have a very large rocket. So it's a six stage rocket. All right, so SAS on, we've got that, we've got thrust. Uh, we should be good to launch. I don't see any reason why not. You can EVA, perfect, we've got that handled. Uh, we can set up maneuvers, I believe. So we should be good to go. Holy cow, that barely lifts off. It's gonna pick up some speed though. That is a big rocket. See, this is the never-ending equation, right? The more fuel you need to bring up, then that means the bigger rocket you need. And of course, because we don't have any of the good engines unlocked or the really powerful ones, uh, we just have to use more of them. And so we've got four solid fuels, and then hopefully these are gonna burn. We're still gonna have a lot left over on that liquid. That's okay. And then those eject, obviously, and now we're, we're burning a lot quicker. And hopefully not, like, I'm pretty sure we're cooking this fuel tank right now. I'm like 99% sure we're just gonna burn that fuel tank right now. Maybe not, but I have a feeling. Oh, we're definitely gonna get into atmosphere. I think this rocket might have been a little bit excessive. Uh, I mean, it's probably, I think it was like, I don't, I don't even pay attention to the price tag. I probably should start paying attention to the price tag of my rockets. But I mean, we did wanna, we did wanna make it to the moon and make sure we didn't screw it up. Wanted to make sure we got to the moon in one spot. All right, now we're gonna eject those. Perfect. Look at that nice clean separation. Isn't that amazing? See, the main reason I love this game is because of the physics. I mean, just the, the way that you have to actually handle orbits. Let's keep an eye on our fuel. Uh, need to watch that electric charge. Make sure it stays up. All right, so we've got an orbit here. So now we got to look for the moon. And now we're going to have to add a maneuver that's going to fling us out like that. And you can see there, as we get close, this shows how far our position is to the moon. So there we go. That now we're gonna get an intercept course there. So we'll do this. That's a very quick node there, and that'll just you know what? That's gonna look at that. That'll use the moon's gravity to actually drop us right onto the surface. All right, we got a 48 second burn. We should have enough fuel for that. 
And the node is in two minutes. Alright, so burn starting... Right, like that. Kick it. It's doing good. It's clean. It's right on the money. Cut the throttle. Well, we shot a little bit past the burn maneuver. Uh, should still be okay, though. We're definitely still going to intercept it. So, uh... Now we can time warp and just keep an eye on that electric charge, make sure it doesn't drain out. It feels like, like there's nothing. There's literally nothing around you. And it feels like it's just sort of sitting there, but in reality, it's actually orbiting and we're sliding in in front of it. And it's actually kind of catching us, if that makes sense, rather than, it's such a weird kind of feeling when you, it takes a little bit to get used to, but it's really kind of awesome. I just love the, the way it mirrors real life physics. All right, we gotta, we gotta slow right down here. We came in so fast that uh, stopping here is a pain. All right, there we go. We're going to land on the dark side of the moon. Oh, we've got tons of fuel. You know what? We can we can burn this even harder, but we'll, we'll adjust it when we get closer. All right, so we're going to come in. Uh, let's do another crew report here because this will give us mad science points. 10 science. Okay, that's not as much as I thought it would do. And observe this one. And keep that perfect. Okay, and then we'll do the second set when we land on the moon itself. And uh, then when we come back the next time, because I'll probably farm the moon, moon a few times, we'll just get some other ones. All right, so landing on the dark side of the moon is actually going to be terrible. We're going to try and use some boost here. So we're going to kind of fling ourselves towards the light, like so. And hopefully that will... You see there's, it's swapping our orbit, and then hopefully that will just push it. Perfect, we'll land right on the edge of that crater. All right, now we're coming in. Or possibly land right in that crater. Okay, we gotta, we gotta warp down a little bit more, I think. Okay, now we definitely need to start slowing down. See, it seems like we're really, really close. All right, let's let's just give it full throttle and come in slow from, from 20,000 because we're probably going to jump to 10,000. No, not even. It slows down mad quick. All right, we're coming in. Final descent. Might not have enough fuel to actually get off the moon. This might be a huge problem. At least we made it here. We have made it so far. I mean, let's not count anything until we've actually landed, but... You know, so far so good. We just gotta cut the speed enough so that we don't land, you know, any faster than 10 meters a second. Possibly slower, because apparently I didn't put the landing gear low enough, and the engine's actually gonna hit first. Oh, goodness. Alright, alright. Kill speed. Of course, we're landing on a super slope. This is amazing. This isn't, this is not smooth at all. All right, all right, we gotta land very carefully here. Kind of roll into the hill a little bit. All right, we're gonna come in nice and soft. Oh, that wasn't nice and soft. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no, okay. 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 Um, We might just have to take a run at it. And really just kind of go for it but all right we're gonna we're gonna open the doors here we're gonna observe the materials bay from the surface of the moon perfect that's a lot of points we'll close those doors uh we've also got to do the other side goo pack here so we'll observe that log temperature perfect and log this pressure data perfect all right we've done did we do the crew report crew report and we can transmit that all right, so Jebediah clearly doesn't realize he's screwed. We're gonna do an EVA here though. Uh, really experience the moon while we're at it. Okay, okay. The spaceship's rolling away from him. Is it gonna stop rolling? That's not good, man. That's gonna, get back here. Okay, no, it's gonna, it's gonna roll and it'll stay vertical. This'll be good, this'll be good. Okay, stop rolling. All right, well, let's plant a flag. One small step for Kerbal. Is that a con gaming flag? Perfect. Uh, we're gonna call this uh, landing site one. Jeb made it, so I, I figure on all the landing sites, we'll just write down the crew, you know, landing site order. That'd be cool. Yeah, why not? Uh, EVA report can do that while we're here. We'll keep that data. All right, now we gotta get back in this. 
This isn't good. How am I supposed to get back in? We need to get back in. Hmm. This is a problem. Uh-oh. 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 Jeb. Jeb, this mission is a failure on so many different levels. All right, we need to... Jeb, you need to get back in, in the spaceship. Oh, okay, good. We can use you like a battering ram to try and spin the ship around. Okay, perfect. We just need to take one more run at this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Jeb. Oh, no. No, Jeb. What you doing? Jeb. Jeb, you are the most experienced astronaut we have. Do it! All right, there we go. Perfect. You've spun it. Now it should roll on its own a little bit here. Is it going to roll? It's not going to roll. Okay. All right, well, we're not making it back on this little... No, come on, Jeb. Yeah, no, that's, you're having a good time. I get it. All right, here we go. Boom. You know, low gravity really, really helps, but for some reason, this is not helping. Okay, get up. Let's see, it doesn't help. I'm, I don't want to climb up on there. Um, somehow the game crashed, like I, and of course my recording crashed at the same time, but we somehow made it to the moon, and then when I reloaded the game, both Jebediah and the, the craft itself were gone, but the flag is somehow still there. I don't know, I don't know how that works. Honestly, I don't know what happened. The, the, the something weird happened. So we're gonna go back to the moon. We're not gonna build a different craft for this. We're just gonna, you know, send Jebediah back there. We did get a lot of money from that last mission, so that was good. But again, I don't know what happened. The game crashed. It somehow gave me money for the mission. Uh, obviously, we didn't recover the shuttle. And Jebediah is just, you know, chilling at base. But uh, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you what happened there. The, the devs, I guess, do not want you smashing your kerbals against a spaceship. We're actually going to make it back this time. And we're going to do it for science. I mean, the nice thing about going back to the moon again is we'll actually be able to... Uh, Accumulate a lot more science points here. We can get another science point in orbit of the moon and we can get uh, or right above the moon's surface And we can get another one on the surface of the moon and we'll try and land in a little bit different of a spot this time But uh, very very disappointed that the game decided to break I've literally never seen Kerbal crash before ever and I've used mods before and all sorts of things uh, I'm not sure if it has something to do with the fact that I'm recording because I don't normally record Kerbal Let's try and land somewhere nice and flat maybe not in a crater, that would be good. It's very hard to tell how aggressive the ground is, of course, until you're super close to it, and then it's almost too late because it's very difficult to correct at that point in time. But we're definitely going to try and find a flatter spot. It seems so much closer than it is. I mean, we're, we're 20,000 meters up. We're 20 kilometers above the surface, uh, but we are moving at half a kilometer a second. So that's only 40 seconds until we hit the ground. Um... So that's why we're burning, but hopefully that was a quick enough burn. We're still moving really, really quickly here. We got 20 seconds left. Uh, this might be a problem. Houston, we might we might have a serious problem here. 400, 3... Oh, no, because we're starting to decelerate a little bit quicker here. Hopefully, 3... Oh, no, we're not, we're not going to decelerate fast enough. 2... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, this is gonna be so bad, this is gonna be so bad, so bad! Oh my goodness, no! Bail out! Catastrophic failure. Alright, so clearly, uh, we're gonna have to revert to launch. All right, we're finally making our way back into descent. Finally, for the third time with the moon. Again, I would not fly with the Khan Industries a space program. Uh, we don't have a good track record, and without the ability to go back in time, we would have already killed a few people. So, we're going to come in here on the moon. We're going to learn from our previous mistakes. We're going to be actually pretty close to landing site number one. All right, that looks pretty flat, kind of. I mean, except for all the craters. All right, so 107,000 meters. All right, let's start igniting it now. We've got good signal strength. We must be a uh, good line of sight. Yeah, I think that's sure 
pretty sure that's the shoreline right there where we launched from. You see, when that shadow reaches us, that's when we're on the ground. That's the easiest way to tell. So we just, we're going to cut the throttle now and just really slow it down a lot. And then we're just going to give it a low idle. Nice soft landing. This looks like a good spot. Relatively flat. Perfect. Perfect. Stay up. Stay up. Whatever you do, just lean into the mountain a little bit. Okay. And of course, you can jump off there. Now we got to be very careful getting back on that we don't repeat the, uh, the same thing again. UV airport. I'm going to call this landing site two. Actually, you know what? We're going to have to rename these to like the moon because otherwise we're going to end up with like a ton of landing sites when we start visiting other planets. So this is going to be Jeb as well. We're just going to not think about the actual landing site too. All right, we'll go up here. Let's get back in the rocket here. We can do this, Jeb. We can do this. Don't knock it over. All right, perfect. Board that. I think we've got everything we came for. All right, this is really easy. We just got to go up and then get out of the moon's orbit and then drop into Kerbin's orbit. So here we go. All right, let's get up. Just got to break the moon's orbit here. Holy cow, how far do you have to go? Really? Okay, there we go. We broke orbit of the moon. Basically, just go full retrograde, which is opposite direction of whatever orbit you're currently going in, and just hammer it full throttle. Now, it is only 630 meters per second, so we should be able to do this. Uh, we should slow down enough to drop. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, it's because we're going to intercept the moon again. That's a problem. This is... What? What? What is that? We're going to crash into the moon. Are you... No, we're going to catapult around it. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is going to be so cool. Yes. Yes, please. Check this out. This is cool. This is like some real life Apollo... St oh, no, we're not. We're going to smash into the moon. We're screwed. This is the sketchiest mission to the moon I think I've ever done in this entire game. All right, we can do this. We're gonna skirt right past the moon. Wow, that's close. When we tried to slow down last time, it just ended up intercepting the moon. Okay, so now we're a little bit further away. So now we need to go to where the orbit speed is slowest, which is out here. And we need to just go full retrograde and kill it and hopefully drop enough throttle to just slam right into the planet. Come on, you can do it. Oh, thank goodness. All right. All right, we're going to leave that on again as a heat shield and just try to absorb it so that these science bays don't take it. We're going to close, no, we're going to close the doors on this one and close the doors on that one. We are coming in very, very fast at 3,000 meters per second, pretty much straight down too. So we're going to hopefully shed enough of the speed. Uh, we're going to have to deploy these really, really early. I'm also worried that these chutes are just going to deploy and the entire structure is going to fall apart. So I don't really know how that's going to go, but uh, we'll, we'll try this out. It is very, very dark. Oh, not anymore. Oh my goodness, the rocket is exploding. Oh my goodness. Anyways, guys, obviously this rocket sucks. Uh, that's three missions, three failures. So I think uh, we're, we still accomplished that contract and went to the moon according to the database, quote unquote. But uh, definitely going to have to rework this rocket design. Um, invest in some heat shields probably would be a good idea. But if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.